Welcome to the introduction of Cognos Dynamic Cubes Virtual Cubes. Dynamic Cubes is now available in Cognos 10.2. Virtual Cubes are a feature of Dynamic Cubes and are used to improve latency as a method to create applications that have multiple fact table requirements and for merging data. A virtual cube is a logical cube that is defined in terms of exactly two existing cubes, real or virtual. A virtual cube combines two cubes that share a dimension, which is the basis for merging them, are assigned to the same cube server, and can belong to different cube models. You can use virtual cubes to join two cubes with the same structure to facilitate data management, or to join two cubes that share only some metadata, dimensions, hierarchies, levels, or members to make calculations on the shared data. We mentioned before that a virtual cube is defined as two cubes, real or virtual. Cubes can be merged in pairs to any depth. A virtual cube can be used as a source for another virtual cube. A virtual cube can be two cubes, two virtual cubes, or one cube and one virtual cube as seen here. Here is an example of a virtual cube used for faster cube refresh. Requirement. All sales information is stored in cube all sales. In fact, data is added nightly. This requires rebuilding the data cache and refreshing the aggregates. Solution. Partition the all sales cube into two cubes, historic sales and current month sales and define a virtual cube to join the two cubes. Historic sales is used to record the historical data, information, and current month sales is used to record the daily information. Performance is improved because the aggregate refresh time is reduced because most nights only the small aggregates based on current month sales must be refreshed. Or, if you have even more granular updates, say every hour or even less, you might not use aggregates on current month sales. Large aggregates based on historic sales are only updated monthly. Therefore, because the query results from historical data are pre-cached and the recent data is small in size, the performance for queries that are run against the sales data of the entire time period is improved. How are virtual cubes similar to regular cubes. Well, like a regular cube, a virtual cube has a set of objects that define it, such as virtual dimensions, virtual hierarchies, virtual levels, virtual measures, and virtual members. Virtual cubes can have calculated members and calculated measures. Virtual cubes have their own data and member caches like regular cubes and also supports the results at cache. Virtual cubes can support measure formats, multilingual metadata, invisible and visible measures. So how are virtual cubes different from regular cubes? Well, there's no direct cache refresh. A virtual cube cache refresh is propagated or triggered by base cube cache refresh. No direct member or tuple security. Virtual cubes inherits the base cube security. Relative time support is inherited from the relative time definitions defined on the base cube time hierarchies. When defining a virtual cube, you have the option of hiding any source dimensions, hierarchies, levels, members, and measures that you don't want to appear in the virtual cube. Two more slides on virtual cubes. Some additional information. Virtual cube cold cache performance could be slightly slower than a regular cube performance due to the virtual cube needing to merge the resulting data versus running the two queries against the two source cubes in parallel. But do note virtual cube warm and result set cache performance should be on par with regular cube warm and result set cache performance. Source reference objects can only be used once in a virtual object definition per virtual cube model. For example, you cannot define a virtual hierarchy using a source reference hierarchy 
that was already defined. Lastly, a little more on merge. The default merge operator for a virtual cube is sum. You can change the merge operator when you design a virtual cube. There are six merge operators to choose from. A query that is run against a virtual cube will be translated into two queries that are run against the two base cubes respectively. Virtual members have merge operators too. If the merge operator for a virtual member is different from the er merge operator for the virtual cube that this virtual member belongs to, the merge operator for the virtual member will override the merge operator for the virtual cube. Merging of non-distributive and semi-aggregate measures may result in unexpected data since the merge calculation is done at the virtual cube level and not pushed down to the database. This concludes the basic overview of virtual cubes. Please look forward to parts two where we actually go into modeling and demo modeling a virtual cube and part three where we demo virtual cube administration.